Great stuff. Looking forward to it. Now, we, we are hearing about 10 ambassadors for the award this year. Mm -hmm. What? Who are they? <laughs> and what is their work, please? I'd, I'd really like to know. Dude, and, uh, I mean, so that's if... I know I'm, I'm above the category, age category, but if there's money, I can't... Uh, so, to, li to list all 10, I would say go and Google it. <laughs> no, I'm not but, saying this. I mean, what is there? But yeah. they're there to... We pride ourselves in inspiring hope. Okay. They're there to inspire hope. They're alumni of the, the Future Awards Africa, yes. And so we have people like Tara. Uh, okay. We have people like Don Jazzy. We have Ashan. And we have, you know, Sangudel. We have people across Africa who, who are champions of hope, who have consistently done this work that young people can look to and say, well, if, you know, this person did this, I can do it. So we're saying, look, over, over the period of 10 years, look at what this young people have been able to do. Look at how many people Don Jazzy has inspired. Look at how many people Tara has inspired. Look at how many people Sangudel has impacted. And then that's why they're ambassadors, to be able to carry the message of impact. None of us got here by, I, I like this quote, uh, none of us got here by pulling up our own bootstraps ourselves. We all got here because someone bent down and helped us find our boots. These people have won the awards, been nominated for the awards, and have gone on to impact even, the, after. even after the awards and done it consistently. We want to, to you know, show them as a picture of this is what the future of Africa looks like. Yeah. Yes, this is young people impacting their communities. With just their as work. an aside now, just between me and you, I don't think there have been people who won awards and after you're like, really? <laughs> That's what you're doing? <laughs> Has it ever happened? Just, just. I mean, it's normal. We, we hear about people. I, <laughs> <laughs> this is so a book of putting me on the spot here. I would be, I would be lying if I said, no, we've never yeah. had that. We have, we have, which is why we look to consistency now as part yeah. of, as part of the criteria for picking okay. you as a nominee. We want to see, we don't want to flash in the pan, oh, let's just do this this year and then relax and everybody, you know, can yeah. go. We want to see that you're, you're interested in social oh, impact done over, for exactly, over a period of time. Oh, so yeah, so to answer your question, yes. Do you have an idea who the youngest nominee this year is? Hmm. Is there somewhere on 21? Yes, there is. Oh. The, yes, we have, we have splashes of young, very young nominees across, yeah. so it would, it would be hard for me to pick up one, but yes, we have, we have, we have 21 years old. Yes, Sagewa, Sagewa Patrick's, I think. He's 21. I think, yes, I think that's No his pressure name. at so all. So yeah, there are like three of them, no actually. No pressure. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I was doing at 21. <laughs> I can tell you. Interesting. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Went to University of Abuja together. That's what she's trying to say here. So you better be careful. Um, you've talked a lot about Africa. I mean, I know the yeah. future of Africa, I mean, as the name says, they're very passionate about the continent and all of that. Mm -hmm. And this Africa rising narrative is something that I find, <laughs> I don't want to use the word uncomfortable, but yeah. I mean, we live in Africa, so mm -hmm. we know what the reality is. Mm -hmm. But there's this narrative that's gone on for a couple of years mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Even the local media sometimes try to latch onto it to tell their own stories. I mean, no, we're like, is it really <laughs> happening? You know, what are your thoughts on that? I think Africa Rising is cliche. But the reason for cliche is that there is an underlying truth to it. That's why it becomes cliche. Okay. Africa has been rising since the Egyptian pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> since the Egyptian it's pyramids. Started yeah, it started rising. <laughs> Africa was rising when you know, the African country said, look, we don't want colonialism again. We want our independence. Africa was rising then. Africa was rising when women were empowered, you know, to take up places in government. Africa's rising. I think what, what it is, why we will constantly hear Africa rising is for every time there is a shift in a particular demography or a shift in a particular segment, they say, oh, Africa is rising in that. So right now, Africa rising, it is youth. It's youth population. It's, we've heard this, oh, you know, Africa is going to be the world's most populous continent by blah, blah, blah. And the youth make up 70% of the population. What are they going to do? That is, th this is where Africa is rising in this case. So, yes, it's cliche. Yes, it's, it's uncomfortable sometimes. But it is also true. The youth are coming into their own in terms of the realization that we can, we can, we can, we can grow critical mass and we can move the needle in terms of development and impact and change. Do you feel like the Future Africa Project has played a role sort of mm. in helping, I mean you've talked about the mass of youth on the continent now, with maybe starting with Nigeria and all of that. Do you, see, do you think the Future Africa has 
being a part of this story and what are the plans, you know, to, because I mean, unemployment is rife, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of disillusionment mm -hmm, across the continent. Mm -hmm. Most of the people who get lured into terrorism are young people, mm -hmm. you know, what are, what, are, what are the plans going forward? I mean, I'm not, you can't save the world, but I mean. <laughs> I, would, I would move from feeling. I know yeah. that we have been part of, of changing the narrative that is young Africa, because at the time when we started 10 years ago, and it's so phenomenal that we're 10. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> when we started 10 mm -hmm. years ago, it was to counter the narrative that young Africans are of a negative species and they're, they're just involved in you know, crime and all the negative drama. It was like, look, they're young Africans who are doing fantastic work in the communities to impact the communities, but their stories are not being told. So the stories in the media is that of negativity and that is what sells as Africa. So there was a, you know, we did a campaign to say, you know, we had a, this is what Africa looks like kind of campaign. Yeah. So yes, we have, we have shaped the narrative as it were of young Africa and, and, but we know that there's, there's, there's so much more to do. So every time we do the work, we're like, we have just moved the needle just a bit. There's yeah. so much more to do. So this year, we're doing a hundred city tour around Africa. Okay. And this is yeah, I think to, was, yeah, he mentioned that. Yeah. Yes, and this is to to also set up hubs around this 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 parts of Africa. Again, to drive synergy. We don't want to create the hubs, so we're not reinventing the wheel. We are partnering with young Africans or NGOs who are already doing work in these communities around Africa to say, look, how do we synergize? How would you come together to solve the issues, the, the, the bordering issues about the young people and Africa. So yeah. that's what, that's our core focus moving forward. The 100 city tour and the, the setting the up hubs. of the 100 hubs, yes. Great stuff. Let's talk about the awards proper now. What are we expecting this year? I know the theme is Africa needs you. Mm -hmm. What are we expecting? And what does that even mean? <laughs> I mean, I know Africa needs me. Why are you telling me? <laughs> now, Africa needs you was the, was the theme we came up with with because we had gone around and we had seen the work that had been done but we had seen the 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 volume of work that still needs to be done and we started pushing this campaign to say look five people cannot do it ten people cannot hundred people cannot do it we want young people galvanized in every sector of the economy in every sphere in every community to say what can I do? Africa needs you functioning. Africa needs you driving social change. Africa needs you impacting someone else, even if it's just one person. Africa needs you changing the narrative that is Africa. Africa needs you, it's just to say, look, you are not allowed to sit in apathy and think that change will come from the other person. What are you doing? That is, that is, what, that is what we're driving now. And then to the awards, to, to what are you expecting? We usually promise a night of inspiration because that's what it actually is, inspiration. We want people to be inspired to see the future that is Africa. We want people to, to leave there going, wow, I am part of something great. Uh, so, so this year is not going to be different. I will not let the cat out of the bag if that's what you're saying. Oh, what are we expecting? Who is going to sing or who's going to know? No, you will who's get to, to say win. who's going to win. Exactly. No, you're not going to get to know that until the awards, uh, which is, well, you don't have such a long wait. It is on the 6th of December, so okay. you, can, you can... That's around the corner. Yeah, you can just twiddle your... Where's it holding in Lagos? It's holding in Lagos. If I wanted to come, how do I go about it? Do I, are they, is it by invitation? Can I beg you on Twitter? <laughs> How does this work? <laughs> well, if you wanted to come, you could send the mail to info at the future Africa .com okay. and, and, and yes, they, they would respond. They're very hands and we have fantastic volunteers that yeah. just, they just swarm to, you know, for <laughs> the, literally just yeah, and to be a part of it, to be a part of it. it it's even even the, 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 the partners. So we the U.S. Consulate has partnered with us for the past three years hosting nominees reception. This year we have the Canadian High Commission, we have the British High Commission hosting the winners. It's just different bodies, you know, banks and leaders of industry just saying like, what do I need to do to be part of the young people who, yeah. are, who, are, who are actually doing good work, who are impacting 
their generation, their continent, their communities. Thank you very much, Umfon. Um, 6th of December, we're looking forward to that. And thank you for all of the talk about the future of Africa. You're welcome. Um, good luck to all of the nominees. <laughs> like, actually, this is the one award I know that being nominated is actually good enough. Trust me. So congratulations on being nominated. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Like I always say, you can follow the conversation on Twitter. Why Niger TV is the handle. The hashtag to follow is Robin Minds. You can also visit the website, whyniger.com. Remember, you've never seen young people talk like this before. I'll see you next week.